What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today um, I'll be doing my finals prediction. So yeah, the finals is here. Top 8 got f confirmed this weekend after an amazing season. Um, I'll actually review the ladder as well. So Melbourne got first um, after Max Collins' like, the superior kick after the sign. Um, Port Adelaide, they sneaked up somehow. They actually finished second. People are thinking they might miss out on the 8, I mean the 4, but... Yeah, they got second. Really impressive. Now they're back in contention. Geelong Cats barely missed out on home finals. Brisbane Lions sneaked into the top four after Lincoln McCarthy kicked one of the points of the season. <laughs> um, Doggies sadly dropped out. I really think they deserve to make it. But yeah, the last three wins don't help. So um, bad luck. So Swans sixth, which is where they probably be in all year. Giants and Essendon hold up. Um, and finish the top eight. So, yeah, congrats to these top eight teams, as you guys probably seen already. If you haven't, go check out my finals promo. Um, one of my favorite mixes, so please check it out. Um, West Coast, uh, after a very disappointing season for them, um, people probably expected them to lose to the, the Brisbane Lions, but probably didn't expect them to miss out on the eight at the start of the season but bad season for the west coast st kilda i reckon another bad season even though they did smash um Fremantle, which is below them um cooper shaman i watched the game he is a bloody gun so hopefully he becomes max king's like help person whatever you call it um richmond terrible season absolutely terrible for them um i mean i guess they did get unlucky with injuries which every team actually got so that's not really an excuse. Carlton, another terrible season. Hawthorne, I reckon, probably the best out of the lot. People expected them to be wooden spoon, bottom four. They come out to be 14th. Really impressed by the Hawks. Um, go Hawks. <laughs> and Adelaide. Um, yeah, I think did they only rise to about four spots from last time. Gold Coast got down. Collingwood, absolutely shocker season. Terrible. And North got the wooden spoon, as most expected. I think they moved... I, don't, I think there was 18th for the whole year, so, yeah, um, North, but one of the better 18, 18th places, so, yeah, um, that brings us to the first week of finals, Melbourne versus the Brisbane Lions, looking at form, I reckon the Brisbane Lions, but, I, just, watching the, the Melbourne versus Geelong game, I just feel like Melbourne are such a mature team, and, yeah, a 44-point comeback, not, te not many teams can do that, so, Tipping the Melbourne Demons for this one, which brings them D straight into the preliminary. And then the Doggies versus the Bombers. The Bombers did kind of smash, not really smash, but they kind of, honestly, they kind of smashed the Doggies. Um, but yeah, I still think the Doggies, they just, they just can't lose this one. Four, lose, four losses in a row. That would really not only hurt their season um, this year, but maybe next year as well. So Doggies have to win this. Um, the Swans versus the Giants. This is the upset I'm tipping. Tipping the Giants. I reckon um, Giants, they've got a lot of experience in the finals. You know, Swans, I don't, a lot of their mature players are out. Josh Kennedy, I don't even know if he's back. And Callum Mills, he's one of the... He's, honestly, he's, he's becoming one of the mature ages. So, yeah, I'm tipping the Giants. They've got half, half the team's played finals, I reckon. And Toby Green will definitely lead their side to a very good win hopefully so that's the upset and the port versus the cats now you'd probably pick the cats but looking at form port are actually doing really well so i'm tipping the port adelaide um power so yeah i'll now get into the big calls since there's only four games i'll actually do big calls now so um the d's versus the lines big call is that Kazai Pickett and ben brown will combine for seven or more goals which is yeah really big i reckon kazai pickett will step up and ben brown hasn't played finals in a long time so he'd want to prove himself ready and fit to maybe but to stay in the best 22 for the days and i think he already secured his spot but just in case the doggies versus the bombers after a lot of criticism on jake i mean not jake stringer uh marcus montempelli i reckon he will stand up for the doggies and lead them to victory with 25 or more disposals and two or more goals. So a big game for him. Swans versus the Giants. My big call is that Toby Green will hit someone. <laughs> joking, I'm joking. <laughs> um, my big call is that Toby Green will kick three or more, four or more goals to lead Giants to victory. And last one is Port Adelaide versus Geelong. And my big call is that 
both Charlie Dixon and Tom Hawkins won't kick more than a goal. So, yeah, a good defending, hopefully, I reckon. Ali Ali has got Hawkins and I don't know, Mark Litzov's on Dixon, maybe? I don't know. But, yeah, I don't think any of them will kick more than two goals. And before ending the video, um, Lions and Doggies, might, uh, according to me, will make finals week two. And the Cats versus the Giants will make finals week two. And the preliminary final, Port and Melbourne go straight in after very, uh, basically first and second place. So, yeah, that's about it for my round. I'm well, not really round, but um, finals predictions. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.